welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be talking to you guys about hydration versus moisture because I'm like a thousand percent sure that a lot of people don't know the difference between those two because I was one of those people. So I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one. So comment down below right now if you are an expert and you know the difference between hydrated hair and moisturized hair and all of that before watching this video. Do you even know the difference? Let me know because there's nothing wrong with not knowing the difference <laughs> because like I said um, before I would see products that say hydration product or like super hydrating and then I'll see products that say super moisturizing or um, moisturizing product and I would not know the difference. But now that I actually formulate my own products and you know I have my own products, I had to know a lot more tedious things and I now know the difference. So anyways, we're gonna go ahead and get started. By the way guys, I'm so sorry for not being on my channel. Um, I have been very busy, so my channel has kind of been left. But I'm back and I'm gonna try to be a lot more consistent. Okay, so hydration is what we're gonna start with. First of all, I want to point out the fact that a lot of times when we think about something being hydrated, we also think of water, which is basically what hydrating means, of course. So think wash day. When you're doing your wash day, you're going through a hydration process. You're giving your hair water, um, and turn your hair is going to probably thank you because your hair actually needs water, contrary to the fact that my entire like life, I always used to be like staying away from water. But curly hair especially needs water. Water, um, and it needs to be hydrated in order for your scalp to be healthy in order for your hair to be happy and growing <laughs> and in order for you to just feel like that your routine is actually thriving so water is super super important when it comes to naturally curly hair and when you're actually hydrating your hair you're actually um, deeply penetrating your hair strands with water and this is like a large amount of water so through the hydration process water is actually penetrating your hair strands it's actually getting to your scalp this has an actual lasting effect a more lasting effect on your hair versus moisturizing your hair and I say this because um, when you're actually hydrating your hair the water is actually going beneath the surface so you're actually getting your scalp the roots of your hair your actual like curls and then of course the ends of your hair so everything's getting covered everything's getting soaked in the water um, I see a lot of times well not a lot of times but there are some people who do their wash routine like some naturals that will actually start doing their wash routine and they they don't really get their hair soaked with water so they'll just start going in with their products and every time I see that I'm like <laughs> because you actually do want to soak your hair and let your hair just like the water just like drench your hair before you actually start to apply products um, one it makes the products go on a lot more smoother two this is actually very important before you start to like dive into your wash day um, because this is what we are talking about is the hydration process of course we all know that um, regular hydration would be best for your hair so doing like a wash routine or having a wash routine set up weekly or bi-weekly is best I would definitely recommend that if you are trying to make sure that your hair is um, hydrated that you don't use super um, chemical based products so that means like sulfate products or products that have a lot of mess in them because this kind of like counteracts the hydration process in my opinion a hydrating product would probably be like a shampoo that has a lot of water in it an example of that is my shampoo that I have through the Nourish by Shantae Pink Honey Suckle Line. Um, that shampoo is very hydrating. Now, that's not to be confused with a moisturizing shampoo because the Pink Honey Suckle Shampoo is more of a cleansing shampoo, but it still hydrates your hair. Why? Because there's a lot of water in that product. When a product is marketed to you as hydrating, that just means that it has a lot of water in it. So water is like the first ingredient, all of air is the first ingredient, and then you have water throughout the product, and your hair is going to feel hydrated. Now, that doesn't mean that the um, shampoo is gonna be moisturizing or that you are using a moisturizing shampoo, because that's different. Um, there are moisturizing shampoos where whenever you wash your hair, with the shampoo you're like wow this like really moisturized my hair and then there's shampoos that actually like cleanse your scalp where you're pretty much using it to to get your scalp clean 
Now, getting your scalp clean is super important because if you have a lot of buildup or if you don't really wash your hair a lot, um, it's going to be hard for anything to get through to your hair strands. So your scalp's going to pretty much be clogged up. And I know this firsthand because I used to co-wash my hair all the time. You guys know I made a video about it. I used to co-wash my hair all the time and I was so against using shampoos. And then after years and years of doing that, my hair strands started to feel very coated and feel like that they weren't really taken to my products and I wasn't sure what was going on. My curls would always look like very weighed down. So I co-washed for a lot, a very long time and then I realized that I needed to actually start to cleanse my scalp. And when I started to use shampoos in my routine more often, uh, my hair started to come back to life, feel more, um, feel more vibrant. My curls started to look better. And I was like, okay, that's what it was. My scalp was actually clogged from all the products I was using and not actually cleansing my um, scalp it really took a toll on my hair. Definitely, if you are co-washing your hair, um, and I know that it works for some people, but pay attention to your hair to where you know if your hair is getting too much of something. Um, that was just a little side note. I feel like I needed to put that in this video. It doesn't have anything to do with anything, but it kind of does because if you are hydrating your hair with water and you're still not really seeing, like you're still not feeling that like hydration feel where your hair feels like nice and um, clean and just feels good after you finish shampooing, that can sometimes be an issue. This brings me to actually moisturizing your hair. When you moisturize your hair, you are actually giving your hair water, but you're giving your hair water in smaller amounts. So whenever you are um, spraying your hair with a spray bottle, you guys see me do this all the time on my channel. I love moisturizing my hair. Um, spraying your hair with a spray bottle, re-moisturizing your hair the next day, that is when you're actually going through the moisture process. And I would say that it's more of a temporary fix where is when you actually wash your hair your hair is actually getting like that real hydration that is very important it's important to do both i don't want you to think that one's better than the other but definitely moisturizing your hair you can't just keep on going on every single day without washing your hair and just moisturizing 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 of course that's not going to work either so moisturizing your hair is more like out of the shower. Think when you have to re-moisturize your hair the next day or spray water on your hair a couple um, times throughout the week. And I also wanna point out that when you are moisturizing your hair, the water is not really penetrating your hair because you're most of the time moisturizing like the ends of your hair and like the middle of your hair. You're not really getting to the scalp. You're not really fully getting in and penetrating your whole entire hair. So that's why I um, say that it's a temporary fix because it's not really getting in it's kind of like just making the look of your hair nice if that makes sense when it comes to moisturizing products you're normally going to see um, products that are marketed to you that are like re-moisturizers refreshers um, next day curl refreshers things like that leave-in conditioners that are like the spray leave and even a actual leave-in conditioner we think if you just hydrated your hair if you just put water on your hair wash your hair and then get out of the shower. Your hair is going to be dry AF, <laughs> first of all. Second of all, you're definitely going to experience breakage because you're not really protecting your hair with any type of um, products when you get out of the shower. So definitely you don't want to ever just wash your hair and feel like, okay, well, I washed my hair, I hydrated my hair, and I don't have to do anything else. My opinion the best way to follow up with the moisture routine and I would say to do this every single time you're done with your actual wash process is to do a moisturizing method and of course you guys already know 
My favorite moisturizing method is the LCO method, um, which is the lock method. And that is a leave-in, a cream, and then an oil. And the oil is what's gonna seal everything into your hair. Um, I know that a lot of people do the leave-in oil and cream, but that way makes absolutely no sense to me. Um, I've tried it on my hair before and it does not work for me, but it does work for some people. So that is a moisture routine that you could have like a savage. I feel like I need to try out another moisture routine. If you guys want to see me try out another moisture routine, let me know down in the comment sections and I'll try to like research another moisture routine because I'm not sure that I've ever done anything different on my channel because I just feel like the LCO method has worked for me for so many years. And if it's not broke, don't fix it. But I do want to try out new things on my channel. So give me some ideas down below of what I should try. Also re-moisturizing your hair day to day with a spray like we mentioned before um, that's something that you can do throughout the week so that you don't have to wash your hair some people feel like they have to wash their hair every three days i mean it's ultimately your decision but if you don't want to go and wash your hair every single three days or every few days then re-moisturizing your hair with a refresher or a leave-in conditioner really is going to help you to not have to do your wash process all over again because even though we need hydration in our hair it's a pain to have to do that all the time. The last thing I wanted to mention is dehydrated hair that is um, moisturized will still look dull. So I gave you guys an example of when my hair wasn't getting properly hydrated and um, back when I was co-washing and I had a lot of buildup on my scalp and my hair just wasn't getting the water. And I feel, I feel that my hair wasn't actually getting like the right amount of water i know that that makes sense but i just wasn't getting my products and stuff weren't taken and i had a lot of buildup um hair that's dehydrated or that has a lot of buildup and you try to moisturize it will still look dull so in order to keep your hair nice and balanced and healthy you do have to do both of those together um, and I know this probably sounds like a really crazy topic to do and it probably sounds like why is she telling us this but there are some people who are not familiar and who um, don't know and I don't feel like that this is necessarily like a stupid topic I don't think it's an issue for me to put like kind of like beginner videos on my channel so hopefully those of you who have been natural for a long time remember um, when you were kind of lost in the beginning. So guys, that wraps up this video. I think I covered everything. Hopefully I did. Um, hopefully I'm not missing anything. And I hope that this video helped you. If you did, give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to comment down below your thoughts. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.